Praise the Lord again. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. Christ has been your savior, your strength. So today we are on Titus uh, chapter 3. And remember, guys, we've been going through this book. And I hope that it has been a blessing to you. And that everything, uh, you know, as you listen and as you watch, I pray that you are learning, you are interacting with the book, even on your own. And, you know, drawing lessons from this book so that we are able to live a fully, uh, 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 you know, formed, uh, we have Christ formed in our hearts fully. So we're able to live a life that is exemplary of Christ. All right. And that is the whole idea of this book. So we are saved in order to do good. We become good. We do good stuff. We do good, uh, good to people. And so today let's look at chapter 3 and verse 1. And the Bible says, "Remember, remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good. Verse 2, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. This is a very interesting uh, portion of scripture, especially when Paul is talking uh, to Titus in this island, because Titus had been left in this island of Crete, and he was told to be uh, to take care of this land, to take care of this church, and to be there and to be the bishop. It's actually said later in church history that Titus became the bishop of Crete, which means he developed himself or he developed or the Holy Spirit developed him to rise to this level of becoming the bishop of this, of this island. The interesting thing is that the island of Crete ex exists uh, to this day. And, and so maybe if you have... Sometime you can visit it and, and just see it for yourself, see the things that uh, Titus did there, uh, uh, the remnants and historical sites, very beautiful place. And so I pray for you today that God will begin to give you the strength to become, to begin to have these scriptures in your life. Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities. Now this is very interesting because Ah, in today's world, we have so many people who are not subject to rulers and authorities. Let us compare the, the two kinds of rulers and authorities uh, uh, in today's generation and in the days of the Roman Empire. In those days, the rulers were not very nice. Uh, the, it, was, it, was an, it was not like today where the people have the right to speak, and the right to vote out or kick out their, author, their rulers and authorities. In those days, any rebellion that, you know, that rose was met with serious, um, uh, serious people. Army, the army was deployed, people were murdered, others were jailed, and the jails at that time were not very nice. There, wasn't, there was no democracy, or if it was there, it wasn't democracy as we know it. The rulers of that time were difficult men, very hard men. If you read about uh, people like Octavia or the Caesars who ruled Rome, you begin to understand that these guys were not just presidents. These were emperors. These were people who were ruthless. These are people who, are, uh, who persecuted uh, Christians, people who killed. Uh, uh, and there are so many horrific stories, if you, if you study history, to learn from the Roman Empire. And, and Paul is telling Titus to remind the people to be subject to such rulers, to such authorities. You know, being subject to rulers and authorities does not mean that you cannot, uh, you know, uh, raise concerns or raise issues that affect you. For example, in Kenya at this point, we have the high cost of living and, and food prices have gone up from the time of the former president, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, and now this has spilled over into the time of William Ruto. And now there's, there has been problems and people have been suffering even before uh, William Ruto became president and they are still suffering even now. But then with great prayers and, and great work, the Lord will restore Kenya economically. And I believe that because I gave a prophecy about it in the month of September. And that prophecy is available in this, uh, in this YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. And I spoke about a two-year period where we will, be, we will not see any change economically, but in the course of two years, the economy will revamp back. God will restore Kenya. And that is the hope that we have. And that is the encouragement that we have. 
and you can go check that video again. And I also talked about uh, the regrouping of, of, of people who failed or people who lost the election. And I said they will regroup or God said they will regroup and they will come out to challenge again. But then they will be scattered. And, and that is the whole thing. So remind the people. But, you know, as long as, as much as all this is happening, it is always important to remember that there are rulers who are anointed by God and they are in authority by the hand of God. And therefore, wh whoever it is, it doesn't matter whether it's a Christian president or not, whoever is in power is anointed by the, by the Lord. And we are to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be subject to governors, to be subject to MCAs, to be subject to police officers, and just to be subject to rulers and authorities. Then he says to be obedient and to be ready to do whatever is good. And you will realize that there's a theme, uh, almost a theme in this book of Titus that is talking about goodness, to do what is good. Because sometimes you can do things that are not right. But Paul is urging Titus the, and the church in Crete to do what is good. And I also urge you, friends, let us strive to do what is good. Let us strive to be kind to people. Let us strive to always show kindness and, and give where, where people need. If people need money, let us give. If people need food, let us give them food. Because this is the good thing to do. So he tells them to slander no one to be peaceable with and considerate, and always be gentle towards everyone. This word slander has, re, you know, has reappeared again. It seems to me that the church at that time was, uh, had a lot of problems with slander, slander, okay? And so Paul is telling Titus uh, that teach these people, become good, do what is good, and do not slander. There's a lot of slander that goes on in the church even today. Sometimes uh, you can say something uh, that is very powerful and then someone comes and slanders your name. But you see, as we go along, we need to learn and grow into these things so that we are able to be peaceable and we have peace and we are considerate, consider one another and always to be gentle toward everyone. Uh, you know, gentleness is another word that is very key because many people don't know how to be gentle. They don't know how to love one another. They don't know how to speak softly, to speak gently. Uh, you know, they, they just speak out of their mind and, and they speak without thinking. Therefore, friends, Paul is admo ad admo ad uh, giving us these words, encouraging us and, and telling us to become nice, to become kind, to become gentle, to have peace, to relate with one another in a right way. So I pray for you today that even as we continue in this, uh, looking at this text, you will continue to walk and to do what is good. Thank you and God bless you.